1st February 2023 Morning Murli Am Shanti Bhattada Madhupan Sweet children, your vision should not be drawn to bottle banks because the father, the incorporeal ocean of knowledge, himself is the one who is teaching you. Question Which effort are your children able to make to attain a high status while living at home with your families? Answer While living at home with your families, simply use the sword of knowledge. Become spinners of the discus of self realization and content to blow the conch shell. Remember the animated father while walking and moving around and stay in that happiness and you will claim a high status. This is the effort you have to make. Question What double benefit do you receive from having yoga? Answer One is that you don't perform any sinful actions at this time and the other is that your past sins are absolved. Song Mother, Mother, you are the best ever of fortune for all. Om Shanti At spiritual gatherings and colleges, you can see who is teaching you. Your vision falls on that body. At a college, you would say that such and such a professor is teaching you. At a spiritual gathering, you would say that such and such a scholar is relating that knowledge. Your vision falls on human beings. Here, your vision doesn't fall on a bodily being. It is in your intellects that the incorporeal Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is speaking to you through this body. Your intellects go to the mother and father, Baddada. When children relate something, it is said that they are relating what they have heard from the father. The ocean of knowledge, there is a difference. Whatever they hear at spiritual gatherings, they believe that so and so is relating that from the Vedas. People's vision falls on the status and the caste and creed of human beings. This one is a Hindu, this one is a Muslim. The reason falls on that. Here, your region goes to Shubhaba. Shubhaba is teaching you. The father has now come to give you the inheritance of the future new world. No one else can see. Children, I am teaching you Raj Yoga for heaven. You also heard that song. The song is of the past. Jagadamba was like that. She definitely created her fortune because there are her temples. But people don't know who she was, how she came or what fortune she created. So there is a difference of day and night between the study and both studies. Here you understand that the ocean of knowledge, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is teaching you through the mouth of Brahma. The Father has come. God definitely has to come to the devotees. Whilst with devotees remember God. It is wrong to say that all are God. Those who believe in the notion of omnipresence use the force of 20 knells to prove their notion. Your explanation is different. It is only the children who receive the inheritance from the unlimited father. Sannyasis have the path of this interest, the path of isolations. You can never receive a right to property from them. They don't want property. You want the property of constant happiness. There is sorrow in the wealth and property of hell. Although some people are wealthy, their activity is very dirty and they simply content to throw their money away uselessly. Their children then starve to death. They make themselves and their children unhappy. That one is the unwitted father and he sits here and explains to you children. There 
you have many different fathers from whom you receive a temporary inheritance. Although they are kings too, they are limited. Their happiness is limited and temporary. This unlimited father comes to give you imperishable happiness. This explains that the people of Bharat who were double crowned were the masters of heaven and that they have now become the masters of hell. There is sorrow in hell, but there aren't any such rivers of the extreme depths of hell or the river of poison as they have shown in the Garud Purana. That is the punishment that has to be experienced. Therefore, they have written those fearsome stories. In earlier days, the physical limb that someone would commit a crime with would be cut off. They used to receive very severe punishment. The punishment now isn't so severe. The punishment of being hanged is not severe. That is very easy. People even commit suicide very easily. They even quickly sacrifice themselves to shift or the deities. You know that when a soul is unhappy, he wants to shed his body and take another. People who commit suicide don't think in that way. They shed their bodies here and then take other dirty birds here. They don't have knowledge. They simply finish off their bodies because of sorrow. Nevertheless, they still receive an unhappy birth. You know that you are becoming worthy of the new world. There is a variety among those who commit suicide. Some wives used to sacrifice their bodies when their husbands died. That is a different matter. They believe that they would go to the some place where their husband has gone because they had heard that and many had done that already. It is also written in the scriptures that she would go to the same place where her husband has gone. However, that husband would have been someone who ended in the vices and so he would have to come back here to the land of death. By sitting on the pile of knowledge here, you go to heaven. Your children now know that Jagadamba and Jagatpita, who have become instruments for establishment, will become the sustenance in heaven. People don't know what the clan of Vishnu is. Vishnu is a resident of the subtle region, and so how could there be his clan? You now know that the dual form of Vishnu, Lakshmi, and Narayan rule and give sustenance there. This is the power of knowledge. You have yoga with that one husband of all husbands. He is Shubhava, the husband of all husbands and the father of all fathers. That one is everything. All relationships are forged with him. The father says all the maternal and paternal uncles etc. that you have now only give you advice for sorrow. At this time, they would only give you devilish directions for the wrong path. The unlimited father comes and gives your children right directions. For instance, your physical father may ask you to study at college and become a barrister etc. Those directions are not wrong. They are right for the livelihood of your bodies. You have to make that effort. Together with that, you also have to Make effort for the livelihood of your bodies for your future 21 births. You study for the livelihood of your bodies. The study of the scriptures is for the livelihood of those who are on the path of isolation. They study those for their own livelihoods. Sannyasis also earn for their livelihoods. Some earn 50 rupees, some earn 100 and some even earn 1000. When the king of Kashmir died, those of the Aryan Samaj received so much money. All of them do all of that for their own stomachs. There is no happiness without wealth. If someone has wealth, he can travel around in a car, etc. Earlier, sannyasis didn't adopt renunciation for money. They simply used to go away 
into the forest. They would become tired of this world and free themselves. However, they cannot become free like that. Yes, they do remain pure. They support Bharat with the power of their purity. They give happiness to Bharat. In that way, if they didn't become pure, Bharat would have become too much of a brothel. One is of those on the path of isolation and the other is of the father who teaches purity. Their purity is that of the path of isolation. This purity is that of the family path. There used to be the pure family path in Bharat. We were deities and were pure, but we have now become impure for a full half cycle. We have been becoming impure with the five vices. Little by little, Maya has made you completely impure and sinful. No human beings in the world knows how we became impure from being pure, even though they do understand that this world is impure. For instance, if the lifespan of a building is a hundred years, then for fifty years it would be said to be new and for fifty years it would be said to be old. It continues to become old gradually. It is the same for this world. There is happiness in the completely new world and then after half a cycle it becomes old. It is remembered that there is limitless happiness in the golden age. Then when the world becomes old, sorrow begins. Raven causes sorrow. It was Raven whose FG people burn who made you impure. He is a great enemy. Someone made an application to the government that Ravan shouldn't be burned because many people experience sorrow. They show Ravan to be a great scholar. None of the ministers etc. understand. You now know that Ravan's kingdom begins in the Copper Age. It is in Bharat alone that people burn an empty of Ravan. The father explains this path of devotion, the path of ignorance, begins in the Copper Age. There is a day through knowledge and the night through devotion. Look, people sing songs of Jagadamba, but they don't understand how she is the bestower of fortune. Such a big fair tech place, but they don't even know who Jagadamba is. In Bengal, they believe in Kali a great deal, but they don't know what the difference is between Kali and Jagadamba. They show Jagadamba to be fair and Kali to be dark. When Jagadamba becomes Lakshmi, she is beautiful. Then after taking 84 births, she becomes ugly. People are so confused. In fact, Kali and Amba are one and the same. They don't know anything and this is called blind faith. Your children now know that the one who was Jagadamba in the past created the fortune of Bharat. You two are creating the fortune of Bharat. The name of the mothers is the main one. The mothers also have to uplift the sannyasis. Thus too is fixed. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul has given the direction. Shoot arrows of knowledge at them. When your children meet sannyasis etc. He explained that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the ocean of knowledge is teaching you. Tell them you are limited sannyasis, whereas we are unlimited ones. The father teaches us Raj Yoga when your Hat Yoga is about to end. Hat Yoga and Raj Yoga cannot exist at the same time. So not a lot of time now remains. There is very little time now. The father says, children, while living at home with your families, Live like a lotus. It is Brahmins who have to live like a lotus. Kumaris are as pure as a lotus anyway. Baba says to those who enlit in vice, became pure. While living at home with your families, became like a lotus. Each one of you has to become a spinner of the discus of self-realization. 
blow the conch shell. Use the sword of knowledge and your boats will go across. It takes effort. You won't be able to claim such a high status without making effort. While walking and moving around, maintain the happiness. Remember the father. Someone who gives a lot of happiness is automatically remembered. You now have to remember the animated father. You have to give others his introduction. You have to explain to them by studying for a worldly education in this world. You will become a barrister, etc. For now, acha. For instance, if your life ends and you shed your body while studying or just after passing your examinations, the study would end here. Some may have passed their examinations and gone to London and died there. In that case, the study would end there and then that study is perishable. This study is imperishable. It is never destroyed. You know that you will go and rule in the new world. That is temporary happiness and even that is only received if you have it in your fortune. You can't tell for how long it would last. Here it is certain. As soon as your examinations end, you will go and claim your fortune of the kingdom for 21 births. You only receive a limited inheritance from a limited father, teacher and gurus. People think that they receive peace from their guru. However, there cannot be peace here. When a soul becomes tired from performing actions with his organs, he becomes detached from his body. The father says, Peace is your original religion. These are organs. If you don't want to do anything, then just sit down quietly. We are bodiless and are having yoga with the Father so that our sins can be absolved. You might receive peace from a sannyasi, but your sins cannot be absolved by doing that. Here, by remembering the Father, you will continue to become a conqueror of sinful actions. Acha, those people sit in peace and their sins will perhaps be absolved. There would be double benefit. The sins of the past are destroyed. Under no circumstances can the past sins of anyone without the power of yoga be absolved. The ancient yoga of Bharat alone is remembered. It is through this that the sins of many births are absolved. There is no other way. This expansion now has to end. Even the government doesn't want to much expansion. We reduce the expansion so much that very few will remain and all the rest will depart. People understand that destruction will take place. But when they see the fighting stop, they wonder whether it will take place or not. Therefore, they quit in down. The father explains, children, very little time remains. Therefore, don't take many mistakes. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, become detached from your body, become bodiless and experience real peace. Make yourselves a conqueror of sinful actions by having remembrance of the father. Second point, in order to make your reward imperishable, Pay full attention to this imperishable study. Renounce following all wrong directions and only follow the right directions of the one father. Blessing. May you stay in an elevated stage and beyond any effect of the upheaval of matter and become a conqueror of matter. Explanation. You are becoming conquerors of Maya, but you must now allow also become conquerors of matter because there is now 
be a lot of upheaval of matter. Sometimes water of the oceans will show its impact. Sometimes the earth will show her impact. If you are a conqueror of matter, no upheaval of matter will be able to shake you. You will observe every game as a detached observer. Just as angels are shown high up on mountains, in the same way you angels also have to stay in an elevated stage so that when you are high up, you automatically stay beyond any upheaval. Slogan To give the experience of cooperation to all souls with your elevated vibrations is also tapasya. Om Shanti